what are we doing today? Well, I'll tell you, we're strimming around the pond. Now, if I just walk <clears throat> along this pond, you'll see we leave honeysuckle for the wildlife. And uh, some of the reeds are coming up really well in the pond, as we can see. And it's an interesting one up the end of here, because somebody, not in their necessary right mind, decided that bamboo would be nice against a backdrop <coughs> of the pond. Now, as you can see, uh, this has been cut down really hard and where it's emerged, what has been done, it's been treated with wiping glyphosate onto the stems of the bamboo. This has been done over a period of possibly nearly three years now and you can see, if we look down at my feet, there's the bamboo. It's still here. I tell you what, to get rid of bamboo, this is an ordinary bamboo, Arundia japonica. I mean, just look at this one here. You know, that's nearly two and a half foot high. So as the temperatures warm up in the gardens, it's a good time to try and eradicate those pernicious weeds with a product including glyphosate. Uh, digging this out is impossible here on the banks of uh, a pond. Whereas if you've got pernicious weeds in the garden, you could dig them out. And I mean dig, you've got to get the whole root out. And if not, you have to use something like uh, a weed killer containing glyphosate. We wipe it on the stems and that's the best way. Uh, glyphosate is uh, absorbed into the tissue of the of the stem of the plant goes in through the, to the leaf and then it works its way down to the root and then will kill the plant root and all however as i've just pointed out here with this pond it's taking a little bit more than getting rid of it instantly three years it's been like trying to get rid of bindweed and ground elder you just have to keep on and on and on. So there you are, that's today's job. And uh, I'll keep you posted with what I'm up to, off and on throughout the weeks. Mm -hmm.